Gunfire rang out around Burundi's capital city on Thursday, following a claim of a coup by an army general the day before. It's thought that the clashes were between different factions of the security forces. General Godfrey Niambare said Wednesday that he had taken control of the country with the support of the military. But the army's chief of staff contradicted him Thursday in a statement read out on state radio, saying the army will capture those who have declared a coup against President Pierre Nkurunziza. Coup leader General Niambare announced the takeover while the president was in Tanzania for a summit. The announcement came after weeks of deadly protests in Burundi, sparked by the president's bid for what's been widely condemned as an unconstitutional third term in office. Demonstrators took to the streets to celebrate after the coup was announced. Gunfire was heard as the military attempted to disperse the crowds. This footage shows crowds scattering from Bujumbara's Independent Square after shots were fired. President Nkurunziza has dismissed the coup, but appeared to have been blocked from flying back into the country.